So today we're gonna build the bed. I'm very excited because once that's done it's gonna look again like a real house, home. So in here, that's where I'm gonna put my bed and it's gonna look very similar to the one that I did before but this one is gonna be extendable so I'm gonna have a fixed bed here and then from where that wooden thing is till here there's gonna be an extendable part and that's a very popular design that a lot of people choose for the vans and so I decided that that would be the best way to make the most out of uh, Pam's little space so the first thing that I'm going to do is of course decide um, the measurement, how high you want it and how wide you want it. And I've already started cutting this uh, pine, so I already cut the legs and I'm going to need to sand them slightly and then cut the other pieces. structure is built and this is gonna be the fixed bit this is not gonna move and on top I'm gonna have two series of slats one that's gonna be fixed in here and one that's gonna be <coughs> able to move up and down and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that and also I wanted this bed to uh, open up from above so I'm gonna add some joints some uh, hinges here so that it will allow me to open it up and also it's gonna be cut in two sections so I'm gonna have two parts that open up so that it's not just one big part going up and I've already cut my slats that that's from wood from the previous bed that I had and I just need um, to sand them because they're a bit dirty and yeah, that's how it's gonna go. Oop. So I've sanded all of the pieces for the bed and now I'm just gonna decide how distant I want them. So the bed is looking good. And ideally, you you don't want to leave too much space between the two slats because when it opens, your bum is gonna sink in that hole. So you don't want that. So the wider is the hole, obviously, the more uncomfortable it's gonna be. So you really want to leave as little space as possible. So now, what we're gonna do? Uh, we now all the slats are on the same like width, but because uh, we need to do an extension we need uh, uh, like every two slats to be slightly more longer than the other ones because we're gonna add the extension so the extending slats are gonna be screwed into the extension bit so that well now of course I can't show you because it's not built, but you see what I mean, or you will see what I mean at the end of this video. So now it's time to attach the moving slats into the front of the bed. That's the part that's going to move forward and backwards. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to screw in the slats that are still free into this.
Okay, so as you can see, the that's the backing of the slats that move. And I just screw it in, in here. And now oof, the bed extends. I think this is gonna make a very comfy bed. Um, I'm gonna cut the foam that I bought now. I bought a six uh, centimeter mm, deep inch foam and I'm gonna make it fit here and then I'll need to do the covers and blah 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 but for now I'm very happy with how this turned out. Okay so the bed is finally finished. It folds up here and back here which gives me easy access to the stuff that I'm gonna put below and then it also extends in two sections and it gives me about let's say uh, 80 centimeters or 90 centimeters of width which is more than enough for me it's like a single bed I guess and I've also had a little section put my books here so that's gonna be my little library and I've also added a shelf over there that I'm gonna show you this is the little shelf that I've added to put some more things in it you can see that there's a hole over there and that's because uh, there's my battery just there and it wouldn't extend uh, so I needed to cut a little bit out of it so that it sits on top of the battery the battery box not the battery itself but yeah so that's the finished look. I'm gonna show you how it looks with the foam on. So this is how it looks with the foam on. I bought this for about, I think, 20 euros for a meter 50, for 50 centimeters in width, I think. So I thought it was quite cheap for some foam, and um, or reasonable price. So I need to cover it, and I need to find a way to make it waterproof, because I know that I'm gonna spill coffee, soup, and whatever you like into this and then when you extend it you've got the two pieces that just fit oh. and there you go you've got your comfy bed this is one Odi, Odi boy, let's see if he likes it. Odi! Do you want to try the bed? So yeah, this is the finished um, how to make a small bed in a small bag for dummies. And uh, till the next one, bye bye!